So let's talk about dinking, shall we? Now, some people are like, why should I dink? And especially if I'm dinking, why do I want to take the ball out of the air? Well, let's talk about dinking first. So dinking is not necessarily to win a point. If you're winning a point on just dinking, you're really patient because you're wearing somebody out or they just can't dink. A lot of times, dinking is just to get a setup. A dink is a defensive hit to keep the ball low enough and short enough so your opponent can't attack you and put pressure on you. So the whole goal about dinking is to get them off center, to get them moving around, to get them out of balance, so then they will hit a poor shot and you can get a pop-up. So it's all about working for that pop-up. And one of the things you do when you take the ball out of the air is you really want to change the timing, right? So you can get in a rhythm and we're dinking back and forth, cross current, dink rally, backhand. And then if you take one out of the air, you now have cut off the time that that person has to react to your shot. So when you push the dink a little bit out of the air, you are now catching them a little bit off balance, catching them a little bit off guard, making them react to your shot. The whole goal of dinking is to control the other person's movement, not to have them move you all around. So you want to hit in different areas every time, a pattern, come up with some type of pattern. But taking the ball out of the air needs to be one of your patterns if you're comfortable with this shot. It's a high risk reward, but it is definitely worth it when you learn how to master it. I think Tyson McGuffin is one of the best at taking the ball out of the air. He takes the ball out of the air all the time when he's at the kitchen. That's one of the reasons why he came up with the Invicta model because it's a longer paddle face, gives you a little bit more reach at the kitchen. But he does it all the time because of that reason. He can get a better setup. And then if you're taking the ball out of the air, it's pretty easy to turn it into attack by moving your hand a little bit and coming on the inside of the ball and attacking the person in front of you. So it's also a setup shot for some offense. We're going to talk about how to take an advantage when you're dinking with someone and we're going to talk about specifically taking the ball out of the air. This is a very risky shot but there's, it's more of a risk reward because one of the things you can do when you're taking the ball out of the air is put pressure on your opponent especially in the cross court dink. So I got my buddy Rob here and we're going to do some dinking for you and I'm just going to talk through it. He's going to talk some while we're doing this dinking and we're going to show you guys what we're talking about. So I'm just in a dink battle here with Rob and we're just hitting it lightly so you guys can see what we're doing. And I'm going to start trying to move Rob around and get him to come to the middle. So I'm going to get him in here in the middle and then I'm going to move him out to the side. And then I'm going to be looking for when I get him out there to get one high enough to take out of the air as I'm moving him back and forth. And so what it does is it takes some of his timing away. It makes him have to move faster. And I take some of the pressure. Now I hit that one out. Do the same thing and try to take one out of the air on me. Okay. And all it does is it changes the timing and it just moves him around. So your goal is to never hit from the same place twice. And it puts pressure on the, uh, the person across from you because they have to react faster. Oh, that's good. See, Rob put so much pressure on me, I had to get back. And he has a very good backhand. Ooh, he has a very good backhand and he can just roll that when, he, when I give it to him out of the air. It puts a lot of pressure. And the whole goal when you're dinking is to stay consistent but to keep moving your opponent around. You don't want to hit to the same place twice. Oh! Yep. And so that's the way you take advantage of taking dinks out of the air. It's a really, really good way to do a change up and it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. I pride myself on my dinking. I'm not the most aggressive player, I'm very patient. I will take somebody 100 dinks deep. So I take the ball air, out of the air all the time because I like changing the pace and I don't like moving back from the net when I have to take a step back to get behind the ball. So I cut off that angle and make people have to hit a very short shot of me to get the ball past me in the air. Now that we've got this dinking handled, let's work on Third shot drops. You can click it. It's really, it's a good video. I mean, it's a good video. You should click it. Go ahead. Click it. Click it. Come on, man, click it.